Success, completion, and cycles renewed, and the dragonfly that carried Japan's victory on its wings. Welcome back to the Metamorphosis Tarot Project, where we blend bug science and art. The world is at the end of the fool's journey. After an arduous trek and meeting challenges, catastrophes, and a host of colorful figures along the way, our hero has come to the end. The novice has become the master, the fool into the wise man, and he knows that he is about to dive into a new journey ready to take up his role as the fool again. As one thing comes to a close, another blossoms, waiting for the fool to start again. The world as depicted by the writer Waite Smith Deck uses a lot of western symbolism that I ultimately abandoned in my interpretation of this card. A dancing woman, a representation of the highest form of self-expression, is encompassed by a laurel wreath representing success and victory. All four elements are present on her card, signifying her mastery over the elements. I used none of that in my interpretation of this tarot card and instead shifted my focus to Japan where the autumn darter or the red dragonfly is a symbol of the changing seasons and victory. In Japan, dragonflies are literally known as the victorious insect, kachimushi, due to their direct and fast flight and their predacious ability. They trap their prey 95% of the time and are the most effective predators on earth. This became a metaphor for the samurai's dedication, swiftness, and courage in battle. The samurai, in turn, donned dragonflies on their armor, wore helmets with sculpted dragonflies, and brandished weapons with dragonfly motifs as a symbol of their power. While the Japanese name for dragonflies is now tombo, an old word for them was aketsu, and Japan was once called aketsushima, or the land of the dragonflies. In Japan, the endemic found nowhere else, Red Dragonfly was also thought to bring the autumn season, a symbol of the changing times and rebirth. The autumn darner shows up in famous children's poems and in several haikus. One such haiku, by Kaya Shiaru, reads, Thus begins autumn, as it's been decided by the Red Dragonfly. Another reads, Oh the Dragonfly, he has dressed himself in the color of autumn. In the spirit of the autumn darter, here's a question for the naturalist. How can you revel and celebrate your success today? And how can you prepare yourself to step into the role of the fool tomorrow?